guys what i'm starting to realize is that the problem with these liberal fans and these football players is that they don't understand capitalism they don't understand the basics of how anything works they don't understand the basics of how businesses work right the customer is everything the business is the customer and until these guys realize that they're gonna keep getting booed and we're gonna not go anywhere but before we get into that my name is greg foreman and you're watching a black conservative perspective please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel again hit that subscribe button support your boy you can also follow me at twitter at greg foreman uh, bcp on twitter and most importantly share a black conservative perspective aka liberal's worst nightmare let's get them so watch this video of fans appearing to boo the Chiefs and the Texans players during their moment of unity during the first game of the NFL season. Thank you. Now, the super woke, super liberals on Twitter complaining about, oh my God, you know how racist you have to be to boo during a moment of unity? Oh my God, you know how messed up you have to be as a human being to boo during a moment of unity? You know, this proves that this is not about the flag. This is about the fact that they're black. This is all about the fact that the players are black. It's not about the flag and the fans are just racist. They're just racist. And it's, it's the same shit, man. It's the same thing over and over and over again. These people don't understand how business works. The fan, the customer, the client is the main focal point of the business. The business is made to tailor to the customer. The fan is the customer. Do you understand that? It doesn't matter what the personal beliefs are of the employee. It doesn't matter right what matters is the beliefs of the fans if the fans don't want to see it then you shouldn't do it right if the fans want you to stand for a national anthem right if they don't want you to kneel for the national anthem if they want you to stand they, they want you to show respect for the flag if they don't want to see political displays in the middle of the field if they don't want to see social justice messages and you continue to take their money you need to do what they tell you to do because you are subservient to the fan in virtue of them signing your paycheck. I don't understand what people don't understand about this. It's not a hard concept to grasp, people. People want to get mad at Jerry Jones because they feel like, you know, he's on the fence about kneeling. Jerry Jones is on the fence about kneeling because he's sensitive to the fans. You know why he's sensitive to the fans? Because the fans signed the paycheck. Jerry Jones didn't become a billionaire for no reason, guys. He understands business. And people want to be like, oh, well, you know, standing for the anthem is political. Having the military display before the game is is political. Okay, and so what? A company can have political beliefs. As long as they align with the client, as long as the client is accepting of that and they support it, it doesn't matter. And no, the employee, aka the player, it doesn't matter what their polit political beliefs are. They don't have the right to try to implement those things and to go against the company that signs their check. It's very simple. If you don't agree with the political beliefs of your company, are you going to go to the boss and the CEO and tell them that you don't agree with it? All these liberals on the computer, on the internet complaining will never go to their bosses and tell them that, hey, I don't agree with your political beliefs. You got to change them. And also, by the way, you got to empty out your bank account and give your money to a cause that you have nothing to do with. That's what these players are asking these owners to do. Right. It doesn't make sense. Right. Just like Hobby Lobby. People got on Hobby Lobby because they pro Trump and they're conservative. Well, obviously, their customers are conservative. So it that's a part of their business model. A part of their business model is being political. Yes, companies have the right to do that because, again, it's called capitalism. If that is what attracts customers, if that what it gets customers to buy from Hobby Lobby, people want to buy from a Christian-owned company. Same thing with Chick-fil-A. If people want to support that because of religion or because of their political beliefs, that's 100% fine. But if you take a check from Hobby Lobby and you're working there, you best believe that you better act like you align with their political beliefs while you're there. And if you don't align with their political beliefs, then quit. 
That's what I don't understand by these NFL players. You guys are getting paid millions of dollars to play a game. And if you don't agree with the political beliefs of your fans and your teams and the owners, then quit. Don't play. Don't play. But otherwise, if you're going to take a check from them and then complain about their political beliefs or the fact that they don't want to see you have a moment of unity on the field, then you're a hypocrite because you should stop taking their money if you're going to complain about it. That's what I don't understand. That's what gets me about this whole situation. You can't be mad at the fan who pay their hard-earned money to come watch a football game. Yeah, okay, so what if they want to see the national anthem? They're the fan. They pay for the right to see those things. If the Chiefs decide they want to worship the, the military, right, or be extra patriotic, if the fans are okay with it, if the fans agree with it, if it makes them more money, that's the name of the game. That's not only good for the team, that's good for the players. And that's what bothers me because these players are biting the hand that feeds them. You are getting in the way of your own paycheck over something stupid. It's not worth sacrificing your paycheck over this stuff, man. You're already about to have a season where there are not going to be any fans at the stadium, right? And this COVID situation going on, you guys are going to lose a lot of money already. Already you're going to lose a lot of money. Why go down this path? That's going to lead to nowhere. That's not going to lead to any change. Because you want to make a statement. Let's lock arms in the middle of the field to show that we, you know, we're, we're, we're unified. Okay, be unified with your money off the field. <laughs> Unify your money and go make the change that you want to make in your community. That's why I'd rather you do. Take the fans' money, unify off the field, and go make the change that you want to make. That's the smart thing to do. <laughs> but again, they all about making a show. Everybody just want to make a show. And then you want to get mad because the fan is going to respond and make their own their own show in response. How can you get mad about that? Right? If the fans don't want to see it, they just don't want to see it. That doesn't mean they're racist. You know who's also out there locking hands in unity? White people. They booing the white players just as much as they booing the black players. Right? But they always try to pull out this race card because they don't have anything else they can say. Instead of just saying, you know what? Fans just don't want to see that. They don't want to pay to go to a football game and see people make political statements about a movement they don't believe in. Black Lives Matter has lost a lot of people in this country over the last four to five months. With the protests, the violence, and all the damage and destruction that they, they bought to these cities, they've lost a lot of support. A lot of people that was on the fence about Black Lives Matter, that was becoming sympathetic to these woke messages, are now not about it because they've seen the damage and destruction that this organization has caused in this country, and they're not on board with it and when you do messages of, of unity like that on the field essentially you're saying that you support black lives matter and fans are not about it they, they just don't want to see it the fans can choose what they want to see and no i'm not just telling them to shut up and play that's not what i'm telling them i'm telling them shut up and play and go take the money that you're making and go make the change that you want to see in your community i'm telling them the truth see the liberal is okay with continuing to tell these players to make all these gestures because that's what they want because they know that these gestures are never going to lead to any real change i'm telling the players to stop with these stupid ass gestures and to pull your money together and to go out and do what you're asking these white owners to do that's what i'm telling the players to do I'm telling them to do something to take their matters in their own hands, to pull themselves up by them bootstraps, because I believe that the players have the power to do that. I believe that players can do for themselves. I don't believe in the need for the government or, you know, for the white liberal to be pulling the strings of everything that black people do. That's why white liberals support this so much, because they know it's not going to do anything. It's no threat to them. And it helps relieve their guilt. Standing side to side with the players and supporting their movement and donating to Black Lives Matter helps relieve their white guilt. But they don't want any real change. They know Black Lives Matter not leading to any real change. They know Black Lives Matter won't destroy the nuclear family. They know Black Lives Matter is bad for the black community. They know that uh, making these stupid protests, uh, doing an anthem, ain't going to do anything. Ain't going to change nothing. If anything, it's going to cost the players money. Because what happens is the players, if the fans stop watching or the fans stop paying to go to the games, the players are going to lose money in the long term. They're going to lose. Again, there's no institution that's created more black millionaires in this country's history than football, the NFL. And you want to take down this type of institution? You want to sacrifice this type of institution? You trying to sacrifice your money? Your means of change? Because you want to make a stupid statement? It don't make sense. 
I'm looking out for these guys. I'm trying to get these guys real ass advice to try to help save their checks. But they sit here running around, these white liberals, running behind them, doing everything they tell them to do, and they're going to end up losing money. They're going to end up losing their livelihood. And all y'all not going to end up like Kaepernick, it, being able to sit on your ass and make money. Y'all not going to end up like that. A lot of y'all going to end up on the street with no income coming in and nothing to show for it. Because you follow behind a bunch of people who don't know what the hell they're doing. I don't want to see these guys lose their livelihoods and lose their money. That's why I'm so adamant against these guys out here doing these stupid ass protests. Because they don't do anything. They don't do nothing. They don't do anything. I'm giving you guys the blueprint to do what you got to do to make the change that you want to see in your communities. But nobody's ever suggesting that. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody ever goes up to these guys and say, hey, you guys own half the league. Why don't y'all just pull all your money together and, and come up with these economic uh, reforms and use your networks and resources? All y'all have, again, collectively 50% of the money. Y'all can stand together in unity in the middle of the field, unify your money, unify your resources. But no, you'd rather sit and beg other people to do what you should be doing. You can't expect other people to do something that you don't want to do. That's why I laugh when these people complain so much about systemic racism and this, that, and the other. But like I said, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to them doing their part to fight the so-called systemic racism, they don't want to do it. They want white people to do it. I don't, I don't want to pull my money together to try to affect change. I don't want to, you know, use my resources, but I want the white man to use his resources. The white owner, he need to use his resources. He got more money than me. He ain't got more money than all you players put together. Because all y'all seem to be on the same page about this. So why can't y'all get on the same page about putting your money together and making this change? Doesn't make sense. But again, business comes down to the fans. All about what the fan wants. If you don't like the fans political belief, then don't play. Just like if you don't like the political beliefs of Hobby Lobby, don't shop at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has been doing great. They have a market and an ideal customer that they want to appeal to. They don't care about the liberals. That's good for them. Go shop at your store that supports, you know, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or whatever other liberals they support. Go, go shop there. It's simple. And you shouldn't work for a company if you don't believe in their political beliefs. Because no regular person in this country is going up to their company and asking them to change their political beliefs. They're not. They're going to get fired. And they damn sure not asking the owner to come out of their pocket personally to put money into a community, into a cause that they don't want to put money into. And you want to talk about privilege. This is a large group of black players that have the privilege to ask somebody that employs them to take money out of their own pocket to give the causes that they don't necessarily believe in and to do things that are against the best interest of their own business and not get fired think about that think about that you want to talk about white privilege i don't know what type of privilege that is that's a rich privilege right all these guys have rich privilege and along with rich privilege comes great responsibility and you have all the power in your hands so you need to use it and stop complaining and stop doing these dumbass protests that are going to lead to nowhere. You're wasting time. You're wasting energy. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.